Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, in today's video, we'll be developing a custom reusable toast notification component. It will be having the similar functionality like we are having the, in the standard one. Why we are creating it? Because like there are a few places where we cannot use the standard toast notifications, but we can use a custom lightning web component there. So wherever you feel like you cannot go with the standard one, in that case, you may use this custom lightning web component. And guys also will be having like all the variants as we as we are having in the standard one and also we'll be having that sticky mode in that so like if you would like to you know uh, make your toast notification just to you know stick on the screen so you can also do that so let's start today's video guys i'm kapil your host me watching salesforce bold All right, guys, let's start today's video. So I thought of, you know, uh, creating this video live while recording it, but trust me, like it took me more than an hour to, you know, design everything from scratch and test the functionality. So here I am, like I'm already having the component now, but I'll be explaining the code and no need to worry. I'll be explaining like, I will be explaining it line by line. Okay. So let me show you the output first. So this is my lightning uh, web component, which is having toast messages. Okay. So this is basically a parent component where I'm having four buttons and on the click of that button, I'm calling my custom lightning web component, which is a reusable component and will be displaying the toast messages based on the selected variants. Okay. And also you can make it like a st uh, sticky uh, mode or maybe you, if you would like, you may just keep it as default. So let me show you a demo. So you may notice like error warning success and info here and they will automatically disappear after three seconds because i'm having a three second of wait time there and also like if you wish you may close it using the cross icon okay so let me show you the code so how it started okay so first uh i visited the design system here it is and in design system if you will search for toast so you'll be getting the custom code like if you would like to you know design it from the scratch so you can get the custom code here so i just you know copy and pasted the code from here from the lightning design system and make it dynamic in my uh, lightning web component and also like here like if you will notice like this is only for a single toast but in my component you may add multiple toast messages using a single component okay now let me show you the code so this is my HTML part guys and trust me, this is the same part uh, from the lightning design system and I just, you know, made it dynamic. Okay. So let me just explain it. Okay. So here uh, in the design section, uh, I'm, I'm having a container which is having its style as absolute and here uh, just for the sake of a good demo i have just made it like margin left 40 percent you should not use inline style sheet always is the css uh, file from here okay so what will margin left do it will just you know display it in the middle of the screen otherwise you know if you will just do the position absolute so it will be overlapping your component because it is going to be on top top left corner of your screen and if you don't want to do the position absolute then it will be above your component so whenever there will be toast messages your component will be underneath those toast messages and basically it will be changing its position okay so let me start so so this is a template uh, uh, for each loop where i'm just uh, creating a loop of my toast list which is in the javascript side okay and here i'm getting the header class dynamically so for header like we are having four classes success error info and what was the fourth one uh error warning success and info okay so we are having four classes so we need to keep it dynamic but fortunately the thing is we don't need to change a complete class i mean there will be just a and prefix that needs to be changed okay and also like we are having header message like success error warning and apart from that what else we are having here yes we are having lightning icon so if you will copy this uh, from lightning design system you will be getting these svgs icons so instead of that i'm using my lightning icons and here i'm getting the icon name as well based on the selected variant and the same way i'm having the message here 
so this is just a simple message it could be anything and this is also dynamic based on the user's choice and for the cross icon as well i'm having the lightning button icon okay and in lightning button icon also uh, I'm, I'm having another function which will be closing this toast messages uh, from the back end from the javascript part okay now let's come to javascript so in javascript i'm having one trackable parameter which is toast list and this is toast id this is just for to i would say to keep track of a count like how many toast messages you are having on the screen at a time because like you have to make them disappear you have to close them you have to you know remove them from the array on the click of the close button okay so that's why i'm just keeping a count of it and based on that count i'm just doing other stuff so this these two parameters will be getting it from the parent component like the timeout so it could be anything in milliseconds okay so like as of now let me show you my parent component this is my parent component and this is the easiest way to use it so here you may see uh, i'm using timeout as 3000 milliseconds so that would be three seconds and for sticky i'm using a parameter which is which is having false right now like if you would like to make it sticky you may just you know make it true and that toast message will will stick on your screen okay let's go back to javascript and also i'm having this api function which can be called from using using the parent component okay so here in this api function i'm just creating a list of toast messages so when you will click on the button for the first time it will create one toast notification other time it will be creating another toast notification so that's why you know we are displaying a, uh, i would say an array of toast and also let me just change the timeout value here so here basically i was using manual value uh, before just for testing purpose okay so here i'm having type which will be type of the toast message error warning success or info this is the header message this uh, for header message also i'm using the type like it could be like error message success or info and then this is the message okay so message we are getting it from the parent component i'll show you like how you may call it in your parent component as well so as id this should be unique value so that's why i'm using toast id which is zero by default and i'm doing plus one after each toast uh, transaction okay and we are having icon name so for icon name also i'm using utility and the type of the toast message like it could be like error warning or it could be anything so the icon will be displayed based on this type and for header class also we just need to change the type at the end okay so the header class for all the toast messages are same basically so you just need to change the text after this slds theme underscore thing so like for warning it will be slds hyphen theme underscore warning okay now after this transaction i am just adding one in toast messages so next time like it will be two uh, in the case of zero it will be one next time and then i am just pushing this toast uh, in the toast list okay and underneath that i am just checking like if it is a sticky toast so if it is a sticky toast then i am not calling my close model uh, function which will be closing the toast automatically okay if it is not a sticky toast then i'm creating a timeout here the timeout time will be cutting from the parent component and i'm calling my close model uh, function and this is my close model so in close model also i'm getting the index based on the toast id so as as we did like toast plus one uh, while calling that show toast function so that's why i'm doing it here minus one just to make sure like i'm getting that accurate id okay and here i'm checking like if the index not equals to minus one why i'm checking it here because let's suppose like you're having multiple toast messages okay which which are not sticky basically so and maybe you are having a timer of five seconds but what if someone has closed those toast messages manually as well using the cross icon so in that case the index will not be there so that's why i'm just checking like if, if the index is uh, not equals to minus one then i'm using basic javascript here guys so i'm removing that specific value from that array based on its index and also the toast id from the toast id i am deducting a number a value like let's suppose while removing the toast uh, if the value will if the value is two so once the toast will be removed the value will be one 
okay and apart from this close model thing i'm having handle close function also which i'm calling on the uh, cross button okay so on the cross button so here why i did not use that toast id parameter which we are using here because like we uh, we might have multiple toast and what if user uh, let's suppose close the toast number the toast in between of those toasts let's suppose like if we are having four toasts then what will happen if user will click on the toast number two or maybe three so we won't be getting the to accurate toast id because like in the case of like if you are having four toast messages so the toast id will be four there so that's why in my template uh, for each loop i'm having the index as well and here i'm having the data index here on the buttons click so this is basically index of that specific row okay so whenever you will be clicking on the close button you will be getting the index of that specific row so based on the index i'm performing the same action what i did here i'm just checking if it is not minus one then remove that value from array and make the toast id is equal to minus i mean toast id minus one okay so that was the javascript code guys and i believe like it was it will be very very easy to implement okay now let me show you how you can call this thing from your parent one so the first thing will be to add that component on your parent component just make sure you pass both values timeout and sticky and second thing on buttons click you have to uh, you have to call that api function so for that you may use like template dot query selected then your component name and then you you may call that show toast function okay and as as the function was expecting two parameters so we are passing those parameters from here the type the mode of that toast the type of that toast and the message which needs to be displayed okay now let me show you like what will happen if we will make it true so let's make this sticky true let's push it to the org again okay let's refresh it now okay now if you will click on this so this is a sticky toast guys and all the toast will be sticky now you may also like make one toast sticky and let other be like disappeared automatically i mean it is completely up to you it is completely up to your requirement and you may always like close them manually using this close icon so that it is for today guys and feel free to use this component wherever you want whenever you want okay and if you need the complete code guys so i'll be having it on my blog which is salesforcecode.com so if you need the complete code you can directly go to my blog and check that out and if you like today's video a subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching